Welcome to Malaki Studios and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to add and edit text inside of all of video editor. So let's get into it. Oh hey, first things first is we need to actually open up the video editor. So now that we have all of open, press OK. First thing first, if you already have a project that you want to add your text into, just open that project by just pressing the file open project and it should pop up the file explorer window wherever you can open it. But for me, I don't have that. So we're just going to use a new sequence and we're just going to call this test text. Okay. And then just make sure your resolution and everything's great for whatever video you're importing. So now that we have that, now that we're inside the project, inside the sequence, now it's time to add your text of choice. So now that we have that, we can press this add button. You can add a title, solid color, bars, tone, or noise. You don't have to do this. I'm going to add a solid color. How to add the text is you press this add button, add title, and now I'm just going to stretch that out directly on top. You can go down here and you have your rich text. If you disable it, you don't see the text anymore. But if you enable it real quick like that, you have your text here that you can edit. So if you press edit, it'll pop up the edit text window right there. So now you can select your different fonts here. So let's go with this one just for instance, but you have to make sure you have your text selected if you already have it typed in. So let's just do sample text for now and we'll click that. And now you can choose in between thin, extra light, light, normal, medium, demo bold bold extra bold or black let's just go with now yeah, i'm gonna go with bold okay now we have that we have the text you have your color right here so let's go with a white even though that's already what it was on then you have this right here which is your set value for the actual size of the text so like in a word document you have your size of the text so right now it's set to 36 normally about 200 i think is normally pretty good so press okay on that press Okay, you can also do the different alignments like in a text docu document. I always normally would have it centered. But let's do that. Now it's 200, so it's going to be really long. It's sample text right now. And last thing is if you want to just edit specifically the text, you can select it. And let's say we just want to say, hey, bro. Type it in, press OK, and it should change it for you right there. If you want to be able to animate the actual text, all you have to do is come down here. You have your padding options, your position options, and if you want to animate any of this or even animate the text so it actually changes over time with the text, you can press enable keyframes right here. So for instance, I can do that. As the keyframe here, I can click it again there and just move it over like that down and to the left. Also, whenever you do it, if you just directly click on it, it will pop up a little window so you can specifically type it in. If you just want to do it nice and quick, all you have to do is left click and drag on it to change it. So now I added that keyframe there, has that keyframe and that keyframe. So it starts there, goes in between, and then you can do whatever you need with those keyframes. Then you have your vertical align. And for instance, this is automatically on center. If you want to have it aligned to the top, bottom, middle, that's fine. But if you do that and you already animated it, it will affect the animation. You also have your auto scroll. Auto scroll is basically its way of automatically doing kind of like the Star Wars scrolling, wherever it starts at the bottom, goes up. It doesn't automatically do the shrinking on it, but you can do that. So like here, I have the automatic up. So it starts on the bottom, even though I have those keyframes, they'll change in the X value, but it's automatically going to scroll up. I'm going to disable that because I personally don't need that. Then you have your shadow and if you click that automatically, it won't show you anything, but you have your color right underneath and your shadow angle, distance, softness, and opacity. So to be able to see it first, just turn up the distance on it. So now you guys can see it. It's right behind the white text and it's at the zero degree. If you want to see something underneath the shadow, then all you have to do is turn up the opacity here, which will basically mean how much it can see through. Now that you guys know how to add text into all of, hopefully you guys can apply that and be able to use it in your own videos. And with that said, we have a video over here recommended to you guys by YouTube and a playlist over here with more all of video tutorials.